Hey, everybody. Welcome back to Robert's English Classroom. I am Robert. So I was at my university class a few weeks ago, and we were talking about stress and how we deal with stress. And I realized it's a pretty important word for English, and I thought, let's make a YouTube lesson about it. So today's lesson is stressed out. I need a break. Maybe you need a break also. Let's look at the first one here. Is stress. Okay, so the vocabulary word stress. So first of all, stress is when you are feeling nervous or pressure or anxious and you feel it day after day after day, like many days and there are many reasons for stress, and later in the video, we'll talk about the reasons. But the word stress in English, okay, it is a noun, usually. It's also a verb. So take a look at my list here in purple, have stress. So you can have stress, all right? I have stress. But also, you can feel stressed, ed. So ed is the adjective. So, oh, I feel stressed. Or you can be stressed out. I like this one. Be stressed out. He is stressed out. I'm stressed out. Also, you can be stressed about something. All right. We'll, we'll sh I'll show you that later. Stressed about. So there are many uh, ways to use this word stressed. Okay. Um, Jake is feeling stressed at work since he became manager. So he's now a manager at work and he's feeling stressed, a lot of pressure on him, right? A lot of things to do, maybe more work. Lou is stressed out about his big final exams next week. So he's a student and he's stressed out. And if I wanna change the way I say this, but the same meaning, I can say Lou has stress about his big final exams next week. So is stressed about or has stress about. Okay, next one here. Why do we get stressed? Well, there are many reasons for stress. It could be work pressure. That's one reason, right? Work pressure, a lot of things at work to do. You might have deadlines. So this word deadline means you have a date. You must finish a project or work by a certain date. And that date is getting closer and closer and closer. And you feel more and more stress and you feel pressure. So deadlines can make people stressed. Uh, relationships with your coworkers. Are they good? Are they not too good? This can make stress. Maybe you move to a new company, a new job, so you need to adjust to a new environment. That can make you have stress. Or even worried about losing your job. Maybe your company is cutting jobs and people are being fired or laid off. You could be next. That's going to give you a lot of stress, right? Because you need money. Janet has a presentation deadline at the end of the week, so she feels stressed. After he changed companies, he had lots of stress adjusting to his new environment. So here I show you feel stressed and has stress. Next one social stress. So first was work stress, but then we have also social stress. So social stress comes from family and friends. So the first word here is peer pressure. So peer pressure, what that means, pe peers are your friends and can be people you work with, but usually friends. Peer pressure. So your friends are doing certain things and you feel you also need to do them, but you don't really want to do it, right? That's peer pressure. So you can feel stress from your friends or from your peers or your group that you hang out with. 
uh, having a new relationship can create social stress. Moving to a new school, moving to a new place, maybe a new home also can create social stress, make you feel stressed. The peer pressure to do well in school stresses out many students. A lot of students have stress because of school pressure, right? They want to do well, very competitive. The social stress that comes from not having a social life can be heavy. Okay, so sometimes if you don't have friends, that can create a lot of stress. So another reason for stress is stress of your daily life. So just going through your day stresses you out. The things you need to do almost every day gives you stress. So this could be financial pressure. Financial pressure is money or financial stress. Do I have enough money? Things are expensive. I need to pay for this. I need to pay for that. Financial stress makes a lot of stress for a lot of people. Your daily commute. The word commute is when you go to work, how you go to work and come back from work or go to school and come back from school. Some people need to drive their car over one hour to drive to work or maybe take a train for over one hour. That is stressful. That creates stress. So maybe your daily commute is stressful for you. If you have a family, you will worry or be nervous about their health and safety. That's stress. And a stressful situation or time can come up in your life. We all have those sometimes. That makes stress also. His salary was lowered last month, so he's become stressed out. Less money coming in. I need to drive one hour to work every morning. It's a stressful time. Stressful means an adjective to talk about something you're doing. It's stressful. And driving to work in a lot of traffic, stressful. Now, when you are stressed, what happens to you? It's not good for your health. So what are some stress symptoms? Symptoms are the things that we feel or that happen to our body because of stress. For example, the first one, insomnia. Insomnia means you can't sleep or you don't sleep well. You might lie in bed for hours at night. So insomnia, insomnia comes from too much stress. You could have anxiety, nervous thinking all the time, feel anxious, also nervous all the time. You might get high blood pressure, okay? Blood pressure gets high, you feel tight, you feel stressed out, not healthy for you, not healthy for your heart. His insomnia comes from his stress at work. Jack often feels anxious at parties and gets stressed out. Too many people. Also, what can happen? Some more symptoms here. You might get a weak immune system. This means that your body is getting weak and you could get sick easily. Stress can make you feel sick, get sick easily. You might feel depressed or have depression. And depressed is a feeling every day you have of not wanting to do anything. And there's no hope. And why should I do this? Why should I do that? It could be just because too much stress on you. Her financial stress has caused her to feel depressed. Julie has a weak immune system and is often sick 
due to stress. So how can we de-stress or take care of our mental health or manage our stress? De-stress, take care of mental health, manage stress. That means how we can feel better. Well, you can rest more, recover, sleep, maybe take a little vacation, a quiet, relaxing place can help you. Exercise is a good way to manage stress, release some of your anxiety, make your body healthy, feel good. Meditate, meditation, hmm. sitting quietly for just 10, 20, 30 minutes, close your eyes, quiet, can calm your brain. Don't think so much. Be more social. Get out of your house. Go out. Do things with people. Find some new friends. Staying at home does not help stress. Organize your schedule better. If you are busy and you have many things to do, Organize your schedule clearly, and then you will feel like you will be able to finish everything. And last one, have a healthy diet. Eat well, right? If you're eating a lot of sugary foods or alcohol, this won't help stress. Managing stress, you need fresh fruits and vegetables and some protein. After being social and playing sports, Amy felt herself, ah, de-stress. He eats a healthier diet and meditates before bed to manage stress. I like to meditate before bed. Just 30 minutes. I really sleep a lot better. And that's it. Quick review about the word stress and how we feel with stress and how we manage stress. So feeling stressed, we can feel stress from social stress, daily life stress, financial stress. We could have insomnia because of this or anxiety. And how do we manage stress? One way is meditation, meditating healthy diet, exercise. Comment box quiz here. Do you ever feel stressed and why? Usually for me, it's because of work. And how do you manage your stress when you're feeling stressed? What's something you do to feel better? Okay, write me an answer in the comment box and I'll answer you or comment back. So there we go. Stress, stressed, feeling stressed. We all feel stressed at some time. And this is the way to communicate it in English. All right. That's the lesson for today. Get my thing here. And I'll see you in the next lesson. Don't feel stressed. Manage your stress. You can do it. Bye-bye.